here I have a relief file of a dog collar from our relief clip art library. Now in some cases you may bring in artwork whether the relief files or they could be scan data and you may want to keep some of the information off this. So for example I may want to keep the Fido or the dog bone or actually the dog's head itself. Now to do this what I'm going to do is actually create a vector around the pieces that I want to keep. But rather than going into the 2D view and tracing a vector around it, I could use the Create Boundary from Relief tool. Now if I just leave this as it is and create a boundary, it's created an outline vector here. Very useful if you're bringing in some scan data for example. Or if you've created a relief yourself within the software and you want to add a boundary around the outside. Now I could do that from the whole relief or just my selected relief layer which I am working on. Now in this case I'm going to use a height range. If I come to my 3D view and hover over any of these texture points here. I can see that it's about 2.8 millimeters high, so almost 3. So coming over to the 2D view, I'm going to type in a minimum height of 3 millimeters. Now that's relatively close, but I've got all these nasty overhanging parts on, and I could do with refining the edges a little bit. So to do this, I'm just going to change my maximum height to... 3.5 to see if I get any close with my artwork. Now that's perfect. I've got the dog's head outline. I've got the Fido and luckily I've got the complete border although two separate vectors of my actual artwork itself. So with those vectors created I'm going to look at splitting my design up into its individual components to use over and over again to create for example, a different design if required. Now I'm going to do this in the 3D view, and I'm going to turn on my vector so we can see what's happening. I'm going to select this vector here around the dog's head. I'm going to use my cookie cutter tool, which I've just done there by selecting it. And what's happened is it's split it onto separate layers. So if I turn off my dog's head, and the main body, I have retained the parts that I require. So I'm best to, for tidiness, name this Beagle Head. So I know that's my Beagle Head. I'll do the same with the actual dog's name itself. So on the Relief Layer 1, Cookie Cutter, if I rename that to name, just so we can check we're on the right layer, we can see it there. So if I turn off my underlying layers, we can see we've got Fido and his head here created on a separate layer to reuse again and again. I'm just going to turn back on my relief layer so I've got my complete artwork. We're going to look at how we can store this to use this for a different design if we so wanted to in the future. So I'm going to come to my relief clip art library and pin this out. And I'm going to come down to the one which I've called Rob's. I'm going to turn off my name and my relief layer. And just leave my beagle head on and zoom in nicely. I'm just going to drag my beagle's head into my relief clip art library, and there we have a beagle head. I can do exactly the same again and grab my name, or the dog's name in this case, rather than my name, and again drag this into place. So if I wanted to, and I were to create a new design, 
on a new piece and reopen my clip art library if I wanted to create my design what I could do is I could open the beagle head into place I think I'll scale him up slightly that's lovely and with the beagle head still open I'm going to select name and I'm going to scale this up slightly as well so none of them are pasted into place I'm going to grab my vectors here move them across slightly let's view from the top down well the dog's head happens to be sitting a bit higher so I'm going to rotate my design maybe not quite that much it's about there and I'm going to change the size of it to about four millimeters in height just so it's sitting under quite nicely and I like that and I'm going to paste that into place and close that down and then using my beagle scale him up a little bit and nudge him up slightly and make sure that my mode is on merge high and just paste them into place turning off my vector so we can see clearly what's happened we can see we can reuse artwork over and over again we can take pieces out we can drag them to the clip art library and we can bring them back in and use them time and time again by using the cookie cutter tool and the relief clip art library